Hello you guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have a very exciting package opening and review video. So as you guys can tell by the title, I have ordered Aaron B's crochet hooks and I am going to be opening them, testing them, giving you guys a little bit of a review and kind of an unboxing, even though this isn't a box of the crochet hooks which I'm so excited about. I'm sure you are familiar with Erin B but in case you are not her channel is called It's Erin B and she is another crochet YouTuber so she has come out with a line of crochet hooks. Now I can't show you this side of the bag because it does have my address on it but um this is what it looks like which I love the color of this packaging first off I feel like it's so cute. Um and I am so excited to open these, you guys, and test them. I have had this package since Thursday. Currently, as I'm filming this, it is Monday, but it's also 12, 12 p.m., so <laughs> it's midnight, so it's just barely Monday. But um, I've been waiting to open these on camera, and I was going to film this video on, like, Friday and then didn't have enough time and then Saturday and didn't have enough time Sunday didn't have enough time <laughs> it's been crazy but um I am here now so before I even open this I do just want to give you a breakdown on shipping and how all of that went when I received my package when I ordered it all of that stuff so I did buy these hooks on launch day which was Thursday March 3rd and I did receive my package on the next Thursday so exactly a week after ordering and my actual original date for when it was supposed to be delivered was Saturday and on Thursday I actually checked that morning and it had updated saying it was going to be delivered that day which was great and I obviously was super excited about it so I have had this package since Thursday like I said so I did end up ordering the purple crochet hooks. I can put the picture on the screen of kind of her listing photo and what they look like. Um, obviously I've not opened this yet so I don't know what they look like in person but um, I'm gonna open that in just a little bit but yes I found these and they are so beautiful. I actually did want the flower ones originally though but by the time I went to purchase they were sold out and I purchased these 30 minutes after it launched. So I was on the site at like 11.27 or something like that was when I checked out and already some of them were sold out. A lot of them were already sold out. So I'm happy that I got my hands on the ones that I did and I'm gonna just quit rambling and open this up now because y'all it's been way too long I've been waiting. We just need to get into it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to open it like facing y'all so that obviously you don't see my address. All right, I should probably use scissors, but why do that? But I can just sit here and make weird faces on camera. Okay, really solid packaging which is good because obviously you don't want it to open up when it's being shipped all right you can see them they're so pretty okay also i didn't even mention these are handmade resin crochet hooks and this set of crochet hooks was 45 dollars and 10 dollars for shipping was how much it cost me and she's out in california i'm in florida for perspective on that but okay now let's open we're going to see it at the same time. Oh, actually, you guys are seeing it first because I can't even see. Oh my goodness. They are so pretty, you guys. <laughs> it's so pretty. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of this through her videos and stuff, but let's just see if my camera will do it any justice at all. Stop it. 
this is so pretty so obviously we have the sticker on the front that says naughty hooker which is so funny um of course a little crochet pun and um i love the name choice and the packaging as well from this bright blue bag and the holographic packaging love it okay we're just gonna open now ah i'm so excited you guys so this is a pack of six crochet hooks and i honestly cannot remember the sizes in here i know they're all a little bit bigger crochet hooks because smaller ones are kind of harder to hand make which is completely understandable but oh my goodness okay the first one i have here is six millimeters i'm gonna show you all of them up close but here's six millimeters here is eight millimeters six and a half nine seven and ten so a lot of these are actually good sizes i feel like for a pack because um i mean i have ten i have nine but i feel like i don't have seven so it's gonna be good to have seven now and i think i have six but i'm not sure if i have 6.5 so it's going to be really nice to have all of these in my collection now just looking at them you can tell they're handmade which i love okay like anything that i'm telling you even if it seems like an imperfection i wouldn't call it an imperfection because anything that's handmade like this like it's not going to be 100 percent perfect and that is what anything being handmade is all about like i'm sure you guys understand that watching this because you're a crocheter if you're watching this i'm pretty sure and you know these um are handmade just like crochet products are so again if i say anything that sounds like an imperfection i'm not even calling it an imperfection but i do have just off the bat one thing that i want to mention to you guys well a handful of things i'm going to show you a close-up and kind of show you what i'm meaning so we're going to kind of point this down towards my table so you can see it fair warning my hands are like really messed up right now because i've been picking at them and stuff so just don't mind that but i do want to show you them up close because not only are they very pretty but you know of course if you're seeing a review i'm sure you want to see them up close all right i apologize about my lighting situation sometimes the lighting from like this angle is not the greatest but here is what my crochet hook set looks like i should probably put them all in the correct um order maybe the only one that i feel like there's a problem with which I'm not gonna even call it a problem, right? Because this is still usable, like there's nothing wrong with it as far as that. But this one just seems different compared to the others. That's what I needed to say. So I'm gonna just compare it to the six and a half because this is the six millimeter. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys in a bit. So hopefully you can see the six millimeter versus the six. The only thing I'm really seeing is right here where it's kind of like the handle where you hold the crochet hook as well as where the number label is the hook is kind of flat right here versus the other ones have the little bump out here for like the grip part now this doesn't bother me and obviously again it is handmade so there will be little things like that that you find in things like this but i think that is really the only thing I'm seeing. I will also compare just a little bit on the numbers. 
so if you can see the numbers here on the six millimeter the numbers are really a bright white so you can see that it says 6.05 millimeter and on this 10 millimeter one it's just not quite as bright especially in like certain lighting which my camera is not wanting to focus on this you guys i'm so sorry but not to the point where you can't see it at all like just comparing the two this is a little bit of a lighter white than this is but again it's handmade so things like that will happen and it's not to the point where you can't tell it says 10 millimeter you know what i mean so that's all that matters is that you can read the 10 millimeter on here in my opinion and it's also just because of the way the sparkles in this are sometimes it's going to be a darker background than some of the others so it might be a little bit harder to read just because of that all right so that was kind of my only things that i have seen just looking at these that um you know i noticed but i still think they're gonna crochet really well just based off of feeling them and everything they feel like regular crochet hooks to me so i think these are gonna work really well i am going to get some yarn and try it out i'm gonna try to find a yarn that i am really familiar with and um use that obviously and i'm gonna also go grab some of my other crochet hooks to compare the sizing just to see but then i'll be right back okay you guys so i do have two crochet hooks here that are my normal brand of boy and i have my handmade ones by erin of course so i have a 10 millimeter so i'm going to compare her 10 millimeter versus the one here and then i have a eight so i'm also going to compare her eight to these so let's start out with the eight so as far as having them right next to each other they are very similar in length shape size all of that they are very similar so i'm really struggling with my camera you guys i really apologize but i will say just comparing the top of the hooks here hers is a little more tapered and this one is a little more rounded but again hooks are going to be that way and um it's also a personal preference thing but i think they're really similar and i think her sizing is good on this i think it is a traditional eight which is good obviously you don't want it to be super off of a regular hook so next we have the two tens to compare so obviously these aren't as comparable as the last two because my boy one here has a grip on it but minus the grip we will compare the um sizing of the crochet hook part of it so i think again it is really similar just hers a little more pointed but um that is kind of your main differences but i think the size of the hook is accurate which is the main thing i was looking at by comparing these so now time to crochet with them so i am going to be using wool easy quick and thick by lion brand just for a little swatch and this yarn suggests a nine millimeter hook so that's what i'm going to be using in her set and i'm just going to do a little swatch just to see how it feels if i have a hard time getting used to holding it or anything along those lines. I'm just doing half double crochets. I really don't know why, but I just started doing them, so that's what I'm doing. Honestly, it feels like a regular crochet hook. I do think it slips a little more than what I'm used to, but a lot of times I do end up using the hooks with the grips so i think that's just the main difference with that it's not necessarily anything with her hooks it's just because it doesn't have a grip like i'm used to and with the resin it is going to be a little more slippery i think than like the metal ones but again that's nothing wrong with the hook it's just an adjustment so i'm just going to do 
a little bit more just to see what I think. And I'll come back to you with my little swatch and my opinion, I guess, and kind of my observations. Okay, so I've done just like two and a half rows and I honestly think this works great. I did struggle a little bit because I think I've been using thinner yarns and smaller hooks a lot recently. So kind of switching back to a bigger hook and a thicker yarn, it was just a little bit of an adjustment for me. But once I kind of got onto like the second and third row, I was doing pretty good. And yeah, I did the first row of half double, the second row of double, and a little bit of this third row in single, and it worked well for all of them. So I honestly don't think you'll have any problem crocheting with these hooks if you do get them. But um, yeah, they're also just so pretty. So I can't wait to have them to use for a lot of different projects because again there is a huge variety of sizes right here so it's going to be really good for like my blanket yarns or even like dk weight yarns so yes i'm super excited you guys and um i can't wait for her to drop more crochet hooks in different styles or just a restock of like the flower ones and stuff because i will most likely be picking those up as well because these are just so pretty okay you guys yes i am so happy with my purchase of these hooks and again i do think that these are really well made especially for being handmade like i could not even imagine making these i would have zero idea where to even begin even though I've seen her vlogs of making these and stuff, like I still would have zero idea where to begin or anything, but they are so, so pretty. And I honestly cannot wait for her to release more different ones and restock some of the others as well that I couldn't get my hands on. So yes, I hope this review and kind of like opening video of these hooks was enjoyable and um yeah if you guys are in the market for some really pretty handmade crochet hooks i would definitely recommend checking these out whenever she does restock i'm not 100 percent sure if um everything is sold out but i do know that these sold out like five to ten minutes after i purchased them and the flower ones sold out a couple of minutes before i got on her website but I will link her website below as well as her channel if you guys aren't familiar. But I do know a lot of you watch her because I can tell in my YouTube analytics what channels you guys watch a lot of. And a good portion of you watch her videos. So I thought this would be kind of a fun crossover for you guys if you watch my channel and her channel both. And if you don't watch her channel, then obviously check her out. But yeah, these are super beautiful, you guys and um i hope you enjoyed this video and again no imperfections just handmade so that's what i am saying even with the ones that you can see they're a little bit different from the others no imperfections just handmade okay so anyway i've been rambling for so long y'all so i just need to go because i'm actually posting this video like the same day of filming since it's midnight already <laughs> so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed if you did please do give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments down below if you guys got your hands on any of erin's crochet hooks i would love to know if you did or if you want to buy any of her hooks in the future i would also love to know that and um yeah, or just let me know if you watch Aaron B's 
videos, um, all that kind of stuff. Let's just chat in the comments. And um, yeah, if y'all do want to see more from me, you can always check out more videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, my podcast, all of my social medias, and my vlog channel. All of that is always included in the description box down below for you guys. And with all of that, again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys here on Mondays and Fridays, as well as on Wednesdays for this month, for National Crochet Month, as well as on Sundays for yarn sale videos, and Wednesdays again on my vlog channel. Goodbye!